Hi guys! Welcome back to my vlog. My name is Ella. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I'll be sharing with you what are the 5 essential things that architecture student must have. So without further ado, let's get started. College set technical pen and this unipin um, ball pen set. So both of these used by architecture students for their technical drafting subjects. But what are the difference of this? So this is much cheaper and affordable than this one. And I suggest that uh, don't rush to buy this one because this uh, this is quite expensive. I bought this for 2,398 while. Nabili ko lang to ng 600 plus. So, I suggest na antayin niyo yung professor na mag-announce regarding sa requirements niya. Kasi, for me, if halimbawa hindi naman required to buy this one, I suggest na ito yung bilhin niyo. Kasi, for me, this is quite uh, easy to use than this one. Kasi, this one, once na naubos yung ito, once na naubos yung damat ng ini to, you need to refill and for me, nadudumihan ako sa kanya gamitin. That's why I don't like to use this. That's why I bought this one. But yun, as I've said, just wait for your professor's an announcement regarding to these requirements. But if ako yung tatan tatanungin, in my opinion, I suggest this one for your drafting um, drawings, then use this one. I know, I don't know, but that's my so the second things we have here is this pencil. So just like a ball pen's function is used for your drawing and drafting subject. So I suggest you to buy H, B, and F only muna. You don't need to buy one set of pencil kasi for me, hindi nyo naman siya magagamit. Um, sa amin kasi, ang sinadjust muna sa amin unang bilhin is F and H, B, Stedler, Colleen, or kung anong brand pa yan. Pero... For me, you don't need to buy one set of pencil kasi sa huli na sa techniques and strategies nyo pa rin yan, yung paggamit ng pencil. So the third thing I have here is this uh, measuring tools. Yeah. I have lots of measuring tools here but the first measuring tools we have here is this metric scale. It's look like a uh, toddler chocolate but it's not chocolate guys. This is a uh, metric scale. So this one used for your uh, planning and making floor plans. So the second measuring tool that I have here is this transparent ruler. This is just a regular ruler guys ha. So this is very helpful kasi for me, mas madali siyang gamitin. Kasi I can easily see if yung measurement na, kailang, na kailangan ko is precisely correct or not. Third measuring tools that I have here is this flexible ruler. Well, guys, this is just a regular ruler, but um, pero kaya balang nya is this is flexible. Well, I bought this para kapag um, gumagamit ako ng small bag, makapagdala parin ako ng ruler. So the third measuring tools that I have here is this metal ruler. So this metal ruler used for making your scale model, especially when you're cutting boards or etc. So the fifth measuring tools that we have is this triangle. So each side of it has different um, degrees and functions. So this also used for your drafting subject. I suggest na lagi nyo tong dalen because in my experience, kapag nakalimutan ko to, nahihirapan akong gumawa ng plates. And di medyo hindi ganun kaganda yung plates na nagagawa ko kasi, kasi nga, uh, malaking bagay ito at malaking tulong to sa paggawa ng mga plates niyo. So the fourth things we have here is this, a drawing tube. So this drawing tubes for your plates, it helps your plates to prevent to get wet, crumple, or yung mapunit. Ayun yung guys, yung pinaka-ingat-ingatan nyo once nagkaroon kayo ng plate is yung mapunit, mabasa, or magkaroon ng um, dumi 
kasi malaking deduction yun sa inyo. And kaya meron tayong drawing tube na tinatawag kagaya nito para dito nyo ilalagay yung mga plates nyo para maprotectahan siya from any dirt or kung ano mang pwedeng disgrasyon na mangyari sa plates nyo. Kasi sa architecture, cleanliness is one of the important things. The last thing we have here is this a long ruler. So we call this a T-square. So ganito yung tura niya guys. Ayan. This is this T-square is very helpful when you have a huge kind of plates guys. Kagaya sa amin um, we have 20 by 30 size of plates and for me napaka helpful na to kasi Unlike uh, regular ruler na ganito, pautal-utal yung pag-measuring, uh, pag-measure mo. Unlike kapag meron kang ganito na T-square, guys, madali na lang siya kasi all you have to do is to upward or downward this ruler para precisely pa rin yung measurement na magagawa mo. And I suggest if bibili kayo ng ruler, yung pinakamahaba na ruler yung bilhin nyo, guys, kasi yung 36 inches, sabi ng professor ko, is for engineering course daw yun. Sa ating mga architecture student guys, ito yung sinasuggest niya, yung pinakamahabang ruler. Kasi, kasi nga, magkakaroon tayo ng mga malalaking plates like isang whole, one whole na illustration board. So, malaki-laki yun. And I suggest guys, if bibili kayo, yung acrylic yung gitna. Kasi, for me ha, ito mahirap gamitin to para sa akin. So, if bibili kayo guys, yung acrylic lang yung gitna para ma mas madali siyang gamitin mga masasuggest kong gamit sa inyo for architecture course. And if you like this video guys, just give it thumbs up. Comment down below kung ano pa yung mga content or video ideas na gusto nyo i-share or mapanood dito sa channel na to. And also guys, don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified once I have a new upload video. Once again, my name is Ella and see you soon on my next vlog. So, guys!